Greetings and welcome. We will discuss about two boiler mountings that is the safety valve and fusible plug. But in this video we will discuss about the safety valve only. In the next video we will learn about fusible plug. So let us start with safety valve. Safety valve does not allow to build up excessive pressure in a steam boiler. Thereby it maintains the boiler pressure and the working pressure. If the steam pressure in the boiler drum exceeds the working pressure, safety valve opens and permits the steam in the boiler to escape to the atmosphere. And when the working pressure reaches again, the safety valve closes automatically. Then number and location of the safety valve, there should be at least two safety valves. Each boiler must be fitted with at least two safety valves and safety valves are located above the steam space of the boiler because it has to release the steam to decrease the pressure. Now coming to the principle of working, the valve is pressed against a seat through some external forces. This is the seat and this is the valve. So this is pressed against this seat by some external forces. So at this position the valve is closed. So when the force due to boiler steam acting under the valve is more than the external force, the valve is lifted off. If the pressure acting on the valve is more, then this valve will be lifted off or it will be open. So the valve is lifted off its seat, allowing some of the steam to escape and the steam will escape through these openings. Now there are many types of safety valves like dead weight safety valve, spring loaded safety valve, lever safety valve and also high steam and low water safety valve. And we will discuss these three types of safety valves that is dead weight, spring loaded and lever safety valve one by one. The basic principle of all these three safety valves are same. So this is the valve and steam pressure will act on the valve. And the one act on the steam downwards. So both are acting on opposite directions. When the steam pressure is equal to the working pressure, then one remain in the closed position. That means the pressure exerted by steam on the valve is equal to pressure exerted by the valve on the steam. There are two opposite pressures acting on this and if the steam pressure is more then the valve will be open and if steam pressure is less or equal to the pressure exerted by the valve then it will remain in the closed position. In dead weight safety valve the downward pressure is applied by one dead weight. Suppose this is the dead weight acting on the valve and it is acting downwards. So according to the amount of pressure, if steam pressure is more, the valve will be open and if pressure exerted by the dead weight and the valve itself acting downwards is less than the steam pressure, then the valve will be opened. On the other hand, in spring loaded safety valve, the downward pressure is applied with the help of a spring. This is the spring which is pulling both the valves downwards and the stream pressure will act through these two tubes and if the stream pressure is more then it will be lifted up and the stream will escape to the atmosphere through these openings. Now the lever safety valve. 
So basic principle is same. In liver safety valve, the principle of movement is used. So this is the liver, this is fulcrum and this will act downward, this will act downward, this is the weight, applied weight and this is the guide. So the principle is that this steam pressure will act upward so it will be clockwise moment and the moment due to this weight will be anti-clockwise moment and this is if this is the center of gravity and this moment this force will act downward that means the moment will be anti-clockwise moment so both clockwise and anti-clockwise moments are balanced the applied weight is less than that of the dead weight due to the lever action in dead weight safety valve more weight has to be placed over the valve so at this position because the steam pressure is more therefore the valve is lifted up and the steam will escape like this so at this position this clockwise moment is more than the anti-clockwise moment now again coming to the dead weight safety valve so this is the upward pressure of the steam and this pressure is balanced by the downward dead weight pressure applied on the valve and steam pressure in the upward direction is balanced by the downward force of the dead weights acting on the valve. Now construction of dead weight safety valve, these are the main parts. Say this is the steam space inside the boiler and from this steam space there will be one cast iron vertical pipe. This is the cast iron vertical pipe through which the steam will move up and it will act on the valve. So this is the valve which is a gun metal valve and this valve sits on a valve seat and this is also made of gun metal. The valve is attached to some weight carrier. This is the weight carrier. And this weight carrier can carry the weights as per requirement. So these are the additional weight placed on the weight carrier to increase the downward pressure or downward force. The additional weights are made of cast iron. And this is the cover plate. All these weights and weight carriers are covered. So as a whole, the downward pressure or force is due to this valve due to this weight carrier, due to this cast iron weight, as well as the weight of the cover flat. That is the total weight acting downwards. So this is the close position. That means at this position, the steam pressure or force exerted by the steam is equal to the downward pressure or force exerted by the weight of the valve and its attachments. And this is discharge pipe. If the steam is discharged, and it will be discharged to the atmosphere through this pipe. Now this is the valve open position. You can see the valve is lifted due to the high pressure exerted by the steam on the valve. And therefore, the steam will move up and it will be discharged like this. So it will go to the vertical tube first, then downward and through this horizontal discharge tube, it will be discharged to the atmosphere. So this way, the valve opens and closes based on the steam pressure. If the steam pressure decreases, then the weights are balanced and the valve will sit on the valve seat. So this is the section view. So dead weight safety valve consists of one vertical cast iron pipe. This steam pressure acts on the valve and it can escape if the steam pressure is more than the downward pressure of dead weight. 
if it pressure is more then it will escape by lifting the valve at the lower end of the vertical pipe a bottom flange is provided to bolt safety valve to the sitting block of the boiler cell this is the bottom flange which is fixed to the steam drum at the top of the vertical pipe a gun metal valve sit is screwed this one is the gun metal valve seat if the boiler runs at normal working pressure the gun metal valve rest on the valve seat this valve can move vertically in a vertical pipe along with the weight carrier when hangs freely over the vertical pipe all these arrangements hangs along with the valve and it can move up and down the dead weights of cast iron rings are placed on the weight carrier so these are the these are some rings made of cast iron and these are called the dead weight of cast iron these are called the dead weight additional dead weights that can be placed over the weight carrier the dead weights and weight carrier are covered by a cast iron cover plate so this is the cast iron cover plate a discharge pipe is used to discharge the steam to the atmosphere. This is the discharge pipe. Suppose P1 is the pressure inside the boiler acting on the valve. And W is the total weight of the valve, weight carrier, dead weights and cover plate acting downward. And suppose D is the diameter of the vertical pipe. This is the diameter of the vertical pipe. Suppose D is the diameter of the vertical pipe. The pressure due to the weight will be equal to P to say that is the pressure due to the weight W total weights of pulp weight carrier dead weights and cover plate which is acting downward. And the pressure is weight per unit area and weight is w and area is pi d square where d is the diameter of the cross section of the pipe at normal working pressure of the boiler p1 is equal to p2 that means the valve will remain closed and if when steam pressure increases then this pressure will lift the valve and the steam will escape to the atmosphere through the discharge pipe this is the condition if the steam pressure increases that means steam pressure is more than the pressure exerted by the weights that means p1 is greater than p2 the valve will open and steam will escape to the atmosphere so this type of safety valve is used only on stationary boilers such as Lancashire boiler or other low capacity and low pressure boilers now let us understand the spring loaded safety valve. In this case also the downward force of spring will act. You can see the spring will pull the valves downward and the steam pressure will push the valve upward. And if these are balanced the valve will remain closed and if steam pressure increases the valve will be open and steam will escape to the atmosphere. So uses these valves are suitable for both low and high pressure boilers as well as for stationary and non-stationary boilers. One of the advantages is elimination of heavy weight. In dead weight safety valve, many weights has to be placed over the weight carrier, but due to the spring action, those weights are eliminated. Maintenance of this and examination of this is also easier. The only maintenance is that if the spring stiffness decreases with time, then the spring can be replaced. Now coming to the lever safety valve. So downward force is by lever system. So you can see the downward forces are weight of the valve. This is the weight of the lever. W2 is the weight of the lever which acts downward through the center of gravity of the lever. This is the lever. And this is the weight placed 
at the other end of the fulcrum. We can see there are three weights or forces acting downward W1, W2 and W3. So all this will act downward that means this moment is anti-clockwise about this point or about this fulcrum and the only upward force is force or pressure due to the steam pressure which will act upward and this moment will be a clockwise moment. So by taking the moment about the fulcrum, the anti-clockwise moment of the weights must be equal to the clockwise moment of the steam pressure under normal condition. Therefore, these are the anti-clockwise moment where L1 is the distance of line M axon of this force from the fulcrum. L2 is the distance of line of axon of this force from the fulcrum and L3 is the distance from the fulcrum to the line of axon of the weight W3. So we can write F L1, F means pressure into area, L is the distance, same distance from fulcrum. So pressure into area is equal to force and area is pi by 4 d square where d is the diameter of the steam pipe this diameter so from this we can calculate the d the value of d and if d is known then we can calculate the weight w t that is required to be placed on the lever so this is all about three types of safety valve i think I think we have understood all the basic principle and working of the dead weight safety valve, spring loaded safety valve as well as lever safety valve. So thank you for watching. So in the next video we learn about the fusible plug, how it works.